It's been 678 days since the Australian border was closed to international travellers. Tourists are still banned indefinitely and yet there's no date for its recommencement. Best estimates are that it's costing the economy at least $45 billion a year. Business, as you can imagine, is getting pretty impatient. Joining me live now is the Chief Executive Officer of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Andrew McKellar. Andrew, good to see you. That is uh, certainly a lot of lost income. How is that being felt uh, across the board? Is it small business that's hurting the most? Obviously, tourism businesses. Oh, good morning, uh, Laura. Look, uh, as you say, I mean, it's a very big sector, the tourism uh, industry. Uh, in a normal year, it's contributing about $60 billion to our gross domestic uh, product. There's a uh, more than 600,000 Australians that are employed in tourism and around 300,000, maybe a few more, uh, businesses directly involved in, in tourism. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the ones that are most affected uh, are at the smaller end of the chain. Uh, so it's travel agents, uh, uh, tourism uh, venues, tourism operators, small businesses, uh, a lot of them. Uh, it's a big impact and that sector has really been flattened for the past two years. So. We are now sending the signal that uh, the, the time has come mm. uh, to think seriously about reopening the borders. Uh, the, the, the way should be clear to do that uh, in the weeks ahead as we get past uh, the peak of this uh, Omicron uh, wave and as we start to see the pressure coming off the health system, then really there will be no health reason why we can't contemplate opening up those international borders to a broader uh, range indeed. of uh, travellers, including in, tourists. Indeed, Andrew. National Cabinet is meeting today, so we know they'll be watching now. So what message would you like to send leaders? Because not only do we, uh, not only are we still closed to tourists, but we don't even have a date in which we might open or the criteria which would be required. Well, that, that's exactly right. And I think this, this is the thing. We, we need to get ahead of the curve we need to look a little bit uh, further down the track. And this, uh, I mean, you know, the, this could really be, um, you know, a, about a month away. Uh, but I think we need to sit down with industry and prepare those uh, steps now so that they can uh, plan on how they're going to structure their businesses when they're going to be able to get uh, the employees that they need uh, back in, when they're going to be able to open their doors or uh, plan um, cash flow for the future. So those steps need to be taken now. We can't leave it until the last minute. We've got to plan ahead, uh, set out the criteria, set out the timetable. Obviously, we understand if we have to react to circumstances, but I think let's have that dialogue now. Andrew, thanks so much. We'll see what National Cabinet comes up with.